Yes, my dear friends, very good morning each and everyone. I am Raghavendra Salagam from Upper Public School. So last week we have discussed some of the points regarding the waste water. So how to clean the polluted water, we have completed that points. Sample 1, sample 2, sample 3, sample 4 and the chlorination process, how to disinfect the water already we have discussed. Isn't it? Whatever the waste is coming from the uh, domestic waste, drainage waste, or whatever it may be that waste, we, how we are going to clean that water. Okay. There is one more treatment is there. One more treatment is there. That is waste water treatment plant. Okay. In each and every city, this plant must be there. Is there. Okay. In each and every city, especially big cities like Gulbarga, Bangalore, and uh, Belga, Mysore. So these are the big cities are there. In each and every city must and should be required this plantation. Okay, because so much waste is generated from our house, companies, factories, hospitals. So like this, so many waste already you have studied. What are the mixtures? What are the composition inside the drainage water or sea waste water? Okay, organic and inorganic waste already you have studied that. So these are the waste will be there inside the water and how we are going to remove it, how we are going to treat it, how we are going to uh, remove it or filter it, how we are going to clarify it. Okay. So there, there is one best method that is what a waste water treatment plant. So that is shortly we are, we are writing WWTP, WWTP. Okay, WWTP. This is the water waste water treatment plant. It means we are going to treat it, we are going to purify it, we are going to clarify it. Okay, we are going to clean it. This drainage water or any serious water will be there. That water we are going to treat it or clean it. Yes, my dear students, already you have observed the dust, dirt water or drainage water. Okay, so first method that is water. Bar screen, bar screen. Okay, in this diagram, bar screen is not there. In this diagram, bar screen is not there. Okay, but how it is bar screen? So, like this will be there. This is what a bar screen, like this. This is what a bar screen. Okay, so through this, through this, we are passing the water. We are passing the water which water dirt water polluted water sewage water yes but yes friends in this sewage in this sewage you know very well so many waste is there waste is there okay that waste we have to remove it we have to remove it isn't it yes here total three methods are there one is the physical method chemical method second one physical method third one that is biological method so these are the three processes are there chemical methods also is there physical method also is there biological method also is there we are going to treat the this water by these process okay first one physical method First one, physical method. By physical method, we are going to remove the some of the waste. What are the waste here? Okay, you know very well. Solid particle, suspended particles. Okay, wrappers, papers, plastics, cans, tin. Okay, still so many are there, suspended particles, all are water, suspended particles. All the suspended particles we are going to remove by physical method. It means here our bar screen is there, through that the water we have to pass, whatever the 
uh, heavier particles it means bigger particles they are staying here only only that waste water will move and rest of the bigger particles they can stay here only they can stand here only. okay that is why we are going to make the first method that is what a bar screen it means screen like structure is there through that we have to pass the water we have to pass the water through that and the suspended particles wrappers whatever it may be all the materials they are staying here only and we can remove it by physical method some machines also you can use here or by hand also you can remove these suspended particles i think you observe in some of the areas there is a bar screen will be there bar screen very small bar screen will be there while making the gutter what you are going to say nali or what gutter there they have made in some of the places i have seen in kalburgi some small bar screen they have made what for what purpose to hold the suspended particles and later they can remove it they can remove it okay this is what a first method there is what a bar screen is it i hope point is clear bar screen only you have to got this point all the solid suspended particles staying here only staying here only that's all okay this is the first method then after this grit and sand method will be the second method that is grit and sand method grit and sand method methods okay grit and sand method two second method is what a second method isn't it okay so in this method of the as soon as completed the this bar screen so next step is what a grit and sand method here somewhat we are going to filter the water through the sand filter the water isn't it through the grit and sand through the grit and sand we are going to filter the water and we are decreases the speed of water here decreases the speed of water here in this step we are going to decrease what decreases speed of water can decrease it means artificially not naturally artificially we are going to decrease the speed of the water because some of the again small particles are there we are going to separate it isn't it through the sand through the grit we are going to filter the water that water we have to filter it isn't it yes yes and as soon as complete the grit and sand method we will transfer the one more method that is third method that is water settling tank third point settling tank okay now we are coming here in this reason as soon as completed the grit and sand method so my dear friends that water will transfer to the settling tank so you should come to the diagram you should come to the chart side isn't it so this is what a settling tank it means settling tank must be like this it is like this it must be slope towards the center it must be slope towards the center it means there are some suspended particles solid particles heavier particles all these heavier particles must be come and stand exactly at the center of that tank that is what is called settling tank okay heavier particles so here is what the settling tank is there we are passing the water after the grit and sand after the grit and sand methods we are passing that water raw sewage it means waste water only this waste water we are passing here for what purpose for treatment purpose here water my dear students you can check this diagram here there is a settling it means solid particles heavier particles get settled down here not all the particles at least little bit 50 to 60 percent is particle get settled down yes as soon as completed the settling tank or settled the, all the particles all the solid particles we are allowing that water to transfer next one more 
tank is there one more treatment is there that is what a secondary settling tank so you can take it as a primary or first tank second one have to take the secondary treatment plant it means my dear friends whatever the waste will be there and a heavy heavy particle settle down here and whatever the top water is there that water transfer to the next tank that is called secondary settling tank mm -hmm. second settling tank okay in that secondary settling tank we are going to pass the air we are going to pass the air here we have to pass the air for what purpose what is the necessity of passing the air what is the necessity of pumping the air yes fourth step that is what a secondary settling okay secondary settling so here we are passing the air aeration aeration process isn't it okay here there are some bacteria are there some bacteria aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria so that they can feed on the dead and decaying matter inside the tank dead dead decaying matter inside the tank okay upside water is there downside water heavier particles solid particles you can say it is a fecal particles fecal sludge we can say it is called sludge fecal human waste human waste okay fecal particles isn't it so here we are going to pass the air for bacteria purpose next one more is there to remove the smell to remove the smell okay importance of aeration one is for water bacteria purpose second one is water to remove the smell smell of the water we are going to remove smell isn't it yes so it is what a fourth method fourth method that is what a secondary settling whatever the settling is there in this tank so this we are going to take a separate tank it means sludge that is called water sludge sludge we are going to remove it isn't it so in a separate tank we are going to remove it it is water sludge okay sludge my dear friends sludge is nothing but it is 97% of water 97% of water and rest of the water 3% is organic and inorganic waste it means it is used as a manure used as a manure is that it yes but yes please here water whatever water we have got here this water is little bit clean little bit clean hence this water is called clean water or clarified water clarified water in the fourth step secondary settlement is that it in the secondary settlement we are going to remove the sludge in a separate tank and here we are going to take the water biogas it is used for cooking purpose or to produce the heat to generate the electricity that purpose we are going to use the sludge this is a waste completely waste human waste isn't it okay in this tank okay and finally this is used as a manure it is the best manure for agriculture best manure for crops it means all the nutrients are there inside the sludge npk you are going to say npk nitrogen phosphorus and potassium these are the nutrients must be there in this sludge my dear friends we can use this for agriculture purpose or for for crop purpose we have to use it it is the best isn't it yes and this sludge is called whatever we have got this sludge it is activated sludge it is called water activated sludge last step here okay water is here only 
water is here only and sludge we have removed from the water but not 100 percent is whatever we have removed the sludge it is not 100 percent again one or two three percent is will be there the secondary thing but most of the sludge is we have removed we have transferred to the other tank and here we are producing electricity heat and for cooking purpose we are going to use that okay here uh, again we have to aerate here in this reason in this reason we have to aerate because some bacteria are there anaerobic bacteria and aerobic bacteria are there both the bacteria they are feeding on that sludge anaerobic means in the absence of oxygen aerobic means in the presence of oxygen they are feeding on that or respiring on that isn't it both said it must and should be required the aeration yes uh, my dear friends i am moving next step that is what the final treatment final treatment that is what here final treatment i hope you are observing this final treatment listen here final treatment uh, uh, here we are going to add chlorine gas final treatment chlorine gas are chlorine tablets are bleaching powder already you know this bleaching powder already you know this okay here why we are going to add the chlorine gas or bleaching powder that is a question why what is the necessity why we are going to add it yes my dear friends to remove the color to remove the color first point is water to remove the color next water to kill the germs to kill the germs germs means microorganism harmful microorganisms okay as soon as completed the final treatment and that water is ready for use ready for use you can use but not taste it uh, but you should not drink it uh, still some germs some waste will be there but you can use it for agriculture purpose Agri agriculture purpose you can use it no problem yes or else you can dispose into the water source any water source it may be river it may be sea it may be pond and other kind of sources are there you can dispose it you can leave it but without treatment you should not leave it what happen if you left like that only so my dear friends here water get polluted and causes the so many diseases already you know that water borne diseases typhoid malaria uh, next jaundice isn't it so these are the water borne diseases are there so we should not pollute the water if by mistake polluted means we have to clean it we have to treat it we have to neutralize it then we have to dispose into the water source until that we can act. until that we can act. isn't it yes uh, i am coming to the sludge side so this water is transferred to the directly source of the water i think you are not unable to observe this one Okay, I will show later. This water stream. It means uh, the water is transferring to the source of the water. Any source of the water. It may be sea, river, and all. Whatever it may be. Yes, we can transfer the water. Which water? Clarified water. Treated water. We, we can dispose it. Because it is completely free from chemicals. Completely free from germs. Completely free from suspended particles. You can leave it. You can transfer it. No problem. Yes. I am coming to the next point. That is sludge. I left here only sludge. My dear friends, we have separated the sludge in a separate tank. And 99 percent is sorry, 97 percent is sludge contain water. Water and rest of the uh, the sludge contain some of the nutrients and organic and inorganic matters are there. So here 97 percent we are removing the water. Dewatering process. D watering process and rest of the waste completely waste whatever waste is there here this waste we are going to remove in a separate tank and you can use for land land application for agriculture purpose for agriculture purpose you can use it yes 
my dear friends this is what a uh, water treatment plant and this plant must be there in each and every city in kalburi also is there uh, in uh, in each and every uh, district it must be that because districts are very big they are not small and uh, there is a generation of more and more waste water okay more and more water generates here so that we can clean it we can treat it then only we can leave it into the source of the water yes next you can see this characteristic of waste water what are the characteristic of waste water waste water contains 99 percent is or you can take 100 percent is water and the rest is suspended solids and soluble organic kind in organic substances organic compounds may be nitrogenous waste already we have discussed this mixtures of waste water mixtures of our composition of uh, uh, sea waste water sea waste just you can say sea waste composition of sea waste so organic kind of inorganic microbial uh, organisms it means uh, microorganisms okay next some of the bacteria are there echerichia coli echerichia coli e coli shortly we can say echerichia coli okay coliform bacteria isn't it fecal particles human waste particles okay streptococcus bacillus slime forming bacteria iron bacteria sulfur bacteria algae viruses like this all these are there inside the sea waste water it is completely dirt water polluted water isn't it yes my dear students i hope point is clear this is what a regarding the wwtp waste water treatment plant once i will repeat so first method that is water bar screen bar screen first method is water bar screen first method is water bar screen bar screen right okay second method grit and sand method third method that is settling tank settling tank okay fourth method that is aeration method aeration method fifth method that is water we are going to transfer the sludge sludge activated sludge next seventh one final treatment so these are the methods in textbook 4 or 5 are there in textbook 4 or 5 are there isn't it yes yes my dear friends listen here this is about what regarding the how to treat the waste water or sewage water these are the stuff bar street in this screen, we are going to remove the suspended particles, bigger particles. Next, uh, next means water, grit and sand. Here, we are going to remove the, some of the pebbles, like stone-like structures. Stones are there, no? we are going to remove the stones in the grit and sand methods. Okay. Next, the settling tank. Settling tank means here. Settling tank means we are going to settle the heavier particles. Isn't it? heavier particles then we are going to pass the air to remove the color as well as it is helpful for the anaerobic bacteria to feed on the fecal particles human waste particles then afterwards sludge so we are going to remove the sludge in a separate tank separate tank isn't it so this sludge is very very useful for crops useful for crops because it contains so much nutrients isn't it so 
as soon as completed the aeration, sludge release is going to reach, and that whatever we are removed the sludge, that is activated sludge, and that is we are going to filter it. That is also we are going to remove it. It means 97% is water is there. That 97% water we are going to remove. Dewatering. Dewatering means that 97% is water we are going to remove it. Then later we can use the dry sludge. That is water dry sludge. We can use it for agriculture purposes. The later secondary treatment, after the secondary treatment, final treatment will be there. That is what uh, you will get the clean water and that uh, water is what clarified water. My dear students, we can use it, but we should not drink it. But you can use for agricultural activities. Other activities you can use no problem. Isn't it? So whatever the treatment over, the treatment water we have to, we have to pass into the source of the water. We have to pass into the source of the water isn't it because it is completely free from germs is because very less amount of germs are there very less amount of dirt is there hence we have to transport the clean water into the source of water yes my dear students four point is clear isn't it four point is clear so this is what a waste water treatment plant isn't it four point is clear my dear students, just you focus on that. Uh, what are the composition of wastewater in that? Isn't it? Yes. Uh, today we will finish here early. Tomorrow we will discuss the next concept become an active citizen or being you are an active uh, citizen or an Indian. What are the system or the methods to you are going to follow to uh, maintain the water, wastewater treatment plant or how you are going to avoid that uh, polluted of water? How you are going to avoid that pollution of water? So we will see that in the next session. So we will uh, wind up this session now only. Bye, everyone. Thank you.